Yeah, actually. Uh, so my oldest brother, um, he had a, a Takamine guitar. Um, he's had one for a long time. I think uh, his wife got it for him for like an anniversary gift. And when I was first learning how to play guitar, um, I had, you know, you, you get your first guitar, kind of pawn shop guitar, you know, a couple hundred bucks, learn to learn to play, you know, Inner Sandman on. And um, so I, I went and I went and visited my brother and he he had this guitar and I was like, man, this guitar is really nice. And he let me play it. And uh, so that was that was it. It was a, it was a tag. I can't remember the model or anything, but that was the first time I'd ever seen the name. And uh, and, it, you know, kind of stuck out and I remembered it. So I have three. I had to write them down because it's a lot. It's a mouthful here. Uh, the first one, and then this one. This one's my favorite, and and I I purchased this one last year during during the lockdown. Um, I'm, I'm, I don't know if you know our, our good friend Tony over at uh, ESP, um, but yeah, he uh, I, I hit him up and I just like, man, I need a guitar just while I'm stuck in the house, and uh, and I'm like, I'm, I'm I'm eyeballing this one. He's like, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it, uh, we'll get it hooked up. And, but it's a P seven D and it's, I love it. And I've, I've played it. Uh, so I, I just recently did this acoustic tour with my band breaking Benjamin. And, uh, I had the distinct honor of opening the show as a solo artist. And that was my go-to gar, uh, guitar for the solo performances was the, uh, the P seven and uh man it was great and and even you know some of the some of our uh you know our sound engineer was just like man that guitar just sounds great and and uh you know you never know with the guitar sometimes you know the guitar before or after might not be might not sound as good or might not you know but this one i think i just looked out and it has that kind of je ne sais quoi if you will it, it kind of has that special uh factor so um, so I love it. Yeah, it, it really it really did great on this tour. And, uh, and I got a couple more shows coming up, uh, hopefully uh, next month. Um, and I'm going to I'm going to, you know, use it there, too. So so that's that's uh, that's one that I use for my my solo uh, show. And, um, you know, we had I had I had another show right after that with Breaking Benjamin. And, uh, you know, so and on, on those performances, I used a, a G uh a gj 72 ce which i believe is the johnny cash jumbo and that one was great uh absolutely great um i actually used that one in a uh in a, a a sharp tuning which is very low for an acoustic uh but because that guitar i felt it was kind of like you know jumbo it was kind of bigger i was like i think it can handle it and and sure enough it did you know obviously you know, the, the, the more you kind of crank down on your grip, you know, you're might going to pull things a little sharp. Uh, so, you know, you just kind of had to play it a little different, but it worked absolutely great for, for some of our A sharp, uh, tunings and songs. And then the other one I used was a GD 93 CE, uh, which was one we basically, uh, all of us picked up me, myself, uh, our other guitar player, Jason picked one up and, uh, and, and, his guitar tech cowboy picked one up too because he was just like i think this guitar is pretty cool i'm gonna buy one for myself uh so we got those a little late to the to the game and we got them right before the tour and uh same kind of thing it was just quality and it absolutely held tuning great it felt great in your hands it sounded great uh i would give it a f flying colors uh marker and all all the guitars that i used uh, i was really 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 impressed truth, well it feels great it uh it, it definitely feels great I, I have an older uh my first guitar that i ever that well I, I other than the pawn shop guitar but the first kind of real kind of quality professional grade guitar i got was from my parents for my birthday, it was a Martin D1. And I've played it my whole life and it's old and I'm sure it's kind of, I'm sure that it's, it's you know, it's bowed and kind of moved around a little bit. But whenever I got my hands on on the, this new one, uh, the, the P7, 
you know, obviously it's a brand new guitar, but it just, it just felt great. I mean, it just, you know, it felt easier to play um, than most guitars that you just pick up, you know, you kind of got to, oh, I'm this, you know, this neck's a little bit different than what I'm used to or whatever, but this one, I just picked it up and I was just, it just felt right. And, you know, obviously the sound, you know, you want, you want to sound good, especially in a, in a live setting, uh, you know, and, and especially in a setting where you're not, you know, miking it per se, you know, because lots of times you, you have a plugged in guitar and, a, and it has a weird sound. It has a kind of a, 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 a not accurate sound. It sounds very just kind of MIDI and just weird, you know, uh, but this just has a has a great, um, you know, EQ uh, inside of it. And it has the, the little, you know, the little uh, the little power tube inside as well that just uh, really helps warm things up. And, and it really made a difference not only with the tone, but just the signal itself. Uh, I, I felt that, you know, I didn't have to turn things up in my, my in-ears as much because it was just, it was just good to go. It's got a, it's got a heaviness to it, uh, which I kind of liked. I just kind of was like, man, this thing, this thing's a tank. So I, I felt good going into, uh, into battle uh, with it. I would say it was outstanding. Uh, I never had really any issues with tuning. Um, you know, obviously you pull it out of the truck, it's gonna be cold, you, you know, kind of let it set and acclimate to the, uh, the temperature of the building and the venue. Um, you know, once once that's in, it's good, you know, and it's same thing with, you know, new strings, you gotta stretch them out, kind of get those, you know, solid. And, uh, but once, once, once that's all taken care of, I mean, it was, I had no problems whatsoever. I was, I was super impressed. The first show uh, of, of opening for your own band, it, it, it was, you know, it all looks good on paper, but man, you're like, oh man, I'm singing a lot. <laughs> Uh, then you, it kind of becomes a concern. Can I make it through this? Uh, but uh, yeah, so really that was my that was my main worry the whole tour. It wasn't the guitars uh, at, at all. It was really more so my voice and, and uh, making it through. It yeah, I think so. In the uh, historically speaking, as as long as I've been a writer and um, you know been in bands, uh, I've always. I've always had, you know, an acoustic close by to kind of grab and just kind of, you know, uh, fiddle through some ideas. Uh, I'll never, I'll never abandon, you know, having an acoustic close by and, and wanting to, uh, you know, get some ideas going, some riffs and, and really just song uh, chord progressions and, and things like that. That's always important because uh, you got to have something to sing over. It's a two-way street, you know. It's kind of like you know, you're. I'm putting kind of my faith into into a company, and they're they've got to kind of, you know, put put a little faith in me also, and uh, I, that just kind of affected me. I thought that was really great, and um, and and I felt like just it was an easy choice at that point. Too much pride to give up, too tired to go on. So what?